While doing my research, I managed to come across the Leap Trainer by Robert O'Leary. What this does is it allows um, you to use the leap motion to capture gestures and also poses and then when you redo these gestures in front of the leap motion it will recognize them and provide a percentage based on how accurate the gesture is to the ones it's uh, recorded then these can be used within any software development you want thankfully he's actually made the uh, software and all the code available on github so you can go to his uh, github page robo leary and then or robo leary and then from here you can just download the entire zip file as I have done uh, here in my finder and then just going to the zip file and you open it up it's got all the JavaScript inside and then if I just launch the HTML you can see here that it's got quite a nice interface going on there you put your hand over it can recognize your four fingers and your thumb and the palm there and then just moving it around, there's no kind of blow or anything. You just it recognizes all the digits really well. Um, the movement's a little bit iffy, but I think if you hold it closer to the leap motion, it seems to be a bit more accurate. Um, so you just go to the top left here, and you can type in the gesture name you want to create. Uh, also, you've got options down the side where you can change things like frame rate, uh, the maximum gesture velocity and pose velocity just so that it can pick up the gestures that you want to perform a bit more accurately. Um, I'm gonna, not going to explore that for now, I'm just going to look at the basic create a gesture function. So if I do the, I don't know, I'll do a palm first, so just do the number 5 and create a gesture. You then hold the uh, number 5 over there for 5 seconds, the pose is now learned. So if I now hold my hand over it again, for a number of seconds to recognize that gesture and said it's a 98% match. So if I now create a different gesture, if I do maybe the number one instead, hopefully I've got just one finger there now. Okay, so it's just learned the number one. So if I do number one, 96%, number five, 98%. So then, in, in, in addition to poses, you can also do gestures, so that recognizes the difference between uh, speeds when you're moving your hand. So if there's a sudden movement, it realizes that a gesture is being performed, and then it stops uh, recording the gesture as the speed slows down. So if I try maybe like a, a swipe or something like that. Bringing my hand back onto the screen, the swipe gesture is now finished. So now if I go 5, 97% match, 1, 94% match, now hopefully swipe, hmm, seems to find this a little harder to recognise. Ah, there we go, 65% match. No, it's finding that a little bit harder to recognise. But the poses definitely work quite well. They're definitely a lot more accurate. So I imagine for things like the letters, for example, in my sign language, it should prove quite useful. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just look through the README file, try and understand how he's done the code so I can then adapt it for my own uses.